context about the hand wrap, I'm just going to do it real quick. Shouldn't take me no more than a minute to wrap my hands. Is that when you fight, your hand wrap is, you know, your hands being wrapped is a, is, is a big part in these gloves being able to go on your wrist. Like one time I had fought, um, I think I was fighting in New Jersey at the Bogota, and I was fighting the Everlast gloves. There was some, I don't remember the brand, so I'm not going to put it on Everlast. But after I got on my hand wraps, the gloves would not fit. They would not go, I could not get the gloves on. And that was a big problem. This was before I was world champion or anything, and you didn't get the tri gloves. You basically had to wear the gloves. You, if you had to deal with Everlast or you had to deal with the manufacturer, you would just say, hey, I want, I'm fighting this day. Can you send me some gloves? And I think that was when Adam was at, at Everlast, and they sent me some gloves, and they would not go on my hand. And I, that's why I think that's when uh, the birth of the Reds came in. I started fighting more in Reds. So the context of these gloves, just being able to go on with hand wraps, it, it is you can anybody can slip a glove on and make it look comfortable. Not you know. So I'm just going through this real quick. And and when the hand wrap at a fight and the hand wrap in the gym is going to be like a little bit different, it's a little bit bulkier, a little bit more uh, more professional. A lot of guys still wrap their hands. I had, I was getting my hands wrapped. Towards the end of my career, I was getting my hands wrapped. I was started back wrapping my own hands. But the greatest hand wrapper always is always going to be yourself. Because you always start wrapping your own hands. That's what happens. So, I'll, I'll do this real quick. But yeah, the, it, the, the thing surrounding the gloves with Tyson Fury is a little bit annoying. Especially when fighters do it. So, I'm going to give you guys some context with the hand wraps. And as you can see, all these gloves are different by the same manufacturer. But first I'm gonna try on, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna put on the gloves that I fought K9 in. And then I'm gonna put on the gloves that that uh, the Tyson Fury wore. Alright. Needless to say the commission is very strict, especially Las Vegas, especially California, especially New York. The commission is very strict on uh gloves. Y'all y'all listen to this part. Y'all listen to this part very carefully. Commissions. If anybody know anything about state license that carry license, like for non have a law license, he's supposed to have a law license. I have a nursing license. Commissions, law licenses. People in the people in the um in there while you're getting your hand wrapped. State employees, government employees are in there while you're getting your hands wrapped. Um, corner men is in there. In there. Why you getting your hand wrapped? I, but the opposing corner is in there. Your corner is in there. Your corner is wrapping your hands. All these things are going to place. The glove slipped off in the first fight. The glove never slipped off in the second fight. These people are using confusion to distract y'all from what their real goal is. It's to discredit Fury because... Their champion, their king, their god is having trouble learning how to box properly. Not because he have don't have a corner that can teach him the fundamentals. He don't want to learn the fundamentals. He believes he's a god. He don't have to do what everybody else do. He's special. He's been gifted with power. With power. But check it. Check it out. How he, he shade, um. Expose these guys. And, and have the gloves tape, having your hands wrapped, and all of that. They're very strict. They're assigned uh, an attendant to your locker room. That attendant is there the whole time um, until you walk out. They're there from the time you get to the locker room all the way to the time uh, you're walking out. So um, when that attendant is there, they're, they're watching everything. They're, they're making sure your hands getting, you're making sure your hands are getting wrapped. They, they, they have to, when you're ready to wrap your hands, you have to let them know. They watch. They, they're the ones that you see signature on the hand wraps. They're the ones signature you see on the boxing gloves. They're in there the whole time. So let's say the, the commission tells me to report at uh, 6 o'clock. And, I'm, you know, I'm, I know TV starts at 7, and I'm the main event. Well, when you report... If it's a title fight or whatever the fight it is, you could be on the undercard. But especially if you're a co-main or main event, 
that attendant is going to be in your locker room the whole time. It's going to be the whole time. He's not going to leave. He's going to be in the whole time. Some of my friends with, because I've been boxing for 20 years, some of them I know, I like certain ones to be in my locker. We vibe, we talk, we talk about kids, we talk about sports. It's cool. So, but that's giving you context about is somebody always in there? They're the ones that take. And when you take the glove, in the gym, you normally just take the laces. You take one time around and two times. The commission, if I was fighting, they'll have you take from here all the way down. All the way down here. All right? They'll have you take the whole wrist. All right, so to give you guys some context, see, this glove is a little bit harder. See, I could just slip this glove on if, if I got no wraps. Pretty much right on. No wraps, no nothing. Without the wraps, I have to, it's a little bit harder. I put this glove on. If this was a fight, they would lace it up right here. They would tie the laces around there. They would tie it. They would take from here to here. Man, I don't know why I stopped wearing these. These actually feel really good, but um, that that is that. So what Steve is a legend, and what a lot of people are a legend, what they see on film is that Tyson Fury actually fought like this, hitting hitting like this. That is almost highly impossible, improbable, and this isn't even flapping. I'm just doing it with this glove. That'll be like me. When I won my world title against K-9, fighting in these gloves like this, look, I had a dirt knuckle fight with no gloves, just no nothing. It was the worst pain. I've never been known for hand problems. I've never been known for anything. And I can only imagine, these are two big heavyweights, two of the biggest heavyweights to ever step in the ring. I can only imagine, I can't even imagine fighting like this, hitting a guy as big as Deontay Walker. You guys, you'll fuck your shit up. Go ask Paulie Malinaj about the fight, fighting it, um, fighting like that. There's no advantage. Nobody would put their, everybody would put their career on the line fighting bare knuckles, fighting like that, exposing your hand like that. Nobody would do that. You notice every time that happened in the first fight, Fury would get even the referee try to get the referee to pull it up or his corner to pull it up. These guys are. It's, it's, it's madness how people are so slow and so dumb and believe this type of shit, man. It's, it's like, it's letting you know that we're dealing with some low, intelligent life forms and shit. It's like we in Star Trek and we beamed on a planet filled with idiots and knuckle draggers and zombies, man. He say, and that's why I know Cunningham is being paid. He's being paid to say that to make them look more credible. Oh, we got a professional boxer saying it. Um, is 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 look more credible. He's being paid to say this shit. He know this shit ain't true. Shouts out to um Ishe man. Keep doing your thing, Ishe.